Hi, and welcome back to Still Hopes in Five. I am Stephanie Parker, Still Hopes Director of Public Relations, and today is Monday, March the 18th. I'm gonna go over some events happening here at Still Hopes this week, as well as do our usual social media spotlight. So with that being said, let's get right on into it right now. Starting with today, which again is Monday, March the 18th, at three o'clock in our club room, which is located in building five, our Trinity building, we will have another installment of Resident Reflections. This topic will be Women's History Month. So if you would like to attend that discussion, it will be taking place at three o'clock on Monday. Then on Tuesday, March the 19th, this does not necessarily apply to residents, but I did want to mention that we will be having general staff meetings all throughout the day in the Keenan Event Center. So if you see large gatherings of staff members kind of periodically throughout the day, those are for our required general staff meetings. Also on Tuesday, March the 19th at 11 o'clock in our Arts by Design studio, we will be stuffing Easter eggs. You can come help stuff Easter eggs for the Still Hopes Easter egg hunt. That should be a lot of fun and that's taking place on Tuesday at 11 o'clock. Then on Wednesday, March the 20th at four o'clock in the Keenan Event Center, we will have a presentation titled History of Columbia and Elements of the City Flag. This will be presented by Howard Duvall. And again, that is taking place on Wednesday at four o'clock. Then on Thursday, March the 21st at 1015, we will have a departure time for our trailblazers at Saluda Riverwalk. This is by reservation only, but there is not a charge for this off-campus trip. So if you would like to go and do the Riverwalk, there will be a departure time on Thursday of 1015. Also on Thursday, March the 21st at 1030 in room three of the Keenan Event Center, which is the one located closest to the service hallway and furthest from Main Street. We will be doing our rescheduled date of Chaplain Doug Gray's Alpha course. You remember that was supposed to start a week or so ago and we had to reschedule it. And so it will be taking place this Thursday at 1030. Then there is something that is spanning both Thursday and Friday. So on Thursday, March the 21st at 1.30, and then Friday, March the 22nd at 9.30, we'll be having off-campus trips to the Veterans Experience Action Center. This is by reservation only, and there is not a charge for this off-campus trip. The Veterans Experience Action Center is taking place at the Bluff Road National Guard Armory. It will feature several veteran service organizations and is designed to be a one-stop shop for any questions that South Carolina veterans may have. So this isn't a sponsored Still Hopes event, but we are providing transportation to this very valuable event on Thursday and on Friday. Lastly, on Thursday, March the 21st at three o'clock in our Arts by Design studio, we will be doing Easter egg decorating. This is by reservation only, but there is not a charge. So if you would like to decorate some Easter eggs, you can do that on Thursday at three o'clock. Then on Saturday, March the 23rd at 1030, we will be having our annual Still Hopes Easter egg hunt on the mansion grounds. This is always a lot of fun and this is open to staff and residents and your grandkids or kids or anyone that you would like to bring. And so that is taking place on Saturday, March 23rd. I did also want to mention that on Sunday, March the 24th at 2.30, St. John's Episcopal Church will be doing their Easter egg hunt on our mansion grounds. I know our residents usually love just getting out to the mansion porch and watching that take place. It's always a lot of fun. And so that Easter egg hunt will be taking place on Sunday, March the 24th. And for this week's social media spotlight, we will continue our focus on amazing women of the past and present in recognition of Women's History Month. So be on the lookout on our social media channels for another post about Dr. Jane Bruce Ginyard and her fantastic contributions to the local Columbia community. And also be on the lookout for the story of Dr. Julia Whitsitt, who is a current resident here at Still Hopes. Dr. Whitsitt's experience Experience internationally came to really benefit some local college students here in South Carolina. So for more information, be on the lookout for that post. 
And that's going to be all for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you right back here with me next week. Thank you.